Great day, you two. Great to be back. I know it's been a while. A lot has happened since the last time we met. Moved to a new city. My wife and I had our first child. But I'm back here continuing my series on creating automated trades within Thinkorswim. Here we're discussing Ichimoku, a very popular and extremely powerful indicator. Um, and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. Ichimoku. Ichimoku. I just love saying it. I think it's an extremely fun word to say. But it's an extremely powerful tool uh, developed by Goichi Hosada, who's pictured here on the left, a Jap Japanese journalist, actually, uh, between 50 and 60 years ago. And it's somewhat complex, but in layman's terms, uh, what it communicates is support and resistance levels, uh, as well as crossovers in trends, uptrend to downtrend, uh, and vice versa, downtrend to uptrend, all in one glance. Ichimoku actually translates into English to mean one look or one glance, because it tells you so much information in one glance. I have attached links to uh, some resources that will be extremely helpful in digging into what each of the pieces of the Ichimoku indicator mean and the calculations behind each piece. Um, so if you're interested, please feel free to take a look and read those. Uh, but for the purposes of maintaining a simple video, uh, I won't go into more depth than I need to here. So to begin, we're looking at a chart of Apple. So this is a 12 month chart. Um, and so what we're going to do is add the Ichimoku study and layer it over this price chart. So in order to do that, hit studies here at the top right, edit studies, search for Ichimoku, make sure it's here under price and we can, I'm just gonna remove this study that I had previously so that Ichimoku is the only study on the chart. Hit OK. Wonderful. And so there are many, many layers to the Ichimoku uh, indicator. What I'm going to do is briefly run through uh, what many of these mean um, in layman's terms. And again, I've shared resources if you want to read more deeply and get into the mathematical formulas behind each line. Uh, but I just want to give a broad explanation of, of what these mean. So here you have this blue line, uh, which for Ichimoku is called the Tenkan Sen, and I apologize if my Japanese is not the best. So it's very similar to a moving average line. Uh, it's over a nine, nine period window, so nine day window. Here you have this red line, it's called the Kijun Sen, um, so it's also very similar to a moving average, uh, but calculated over a 26 day window or 26 period window. So over a longer period than this blue line. Similar calculation, longer period. Here you'll see these green and red clouds respectively. Um, this green cloud uh, effectively is to be perceived as um, an emphasis or confirmation of an uptrend. Um, and this red cloud is uh, supposed to be perceived as a confirmation of a downtrend. For this exercise, I'm simply going to uh, create a scan and automated uh, selling order um, based on a blue line, red line, or a Tekken Sen, Kijun Sen crossover, which is how uh, Ichimoku is commonly traded. So we are going to scan for all the stocks in the universe for whom the blue line has just crossed the red line so that we enter those, that's our entry signal. And then we would create an automated order so that it would sell when the blue line crosses back below the red line. So for instance, for Apple, we would have bought here and sold here. Um, we would have bought down here and would ride it up and would still be would still be holding it. Uh, there may be one or two other places um, in here where we may have bought, but that's just an example of um, the price action that we would have expected to see if we had bought uh, at those crossover points. So 
In order to create those scans, of course you click on scan. So I'm just going to reset so we have a brand new study across our, each of these. Great. So what we want to do is click add filter, study, hit the pen to edit your study, hit edit. So this scan is going to have two conditions. In order to identify um, the stocks for which the Tekensen has just crossed over the uh, Kijensen, we need two conditions. So the first condition is that the Tenkensen was below the Kijensen yesterday. And the second condition is that the Tenkensen is above the Kijensen today. So the first one, uh, of course, is creating the condition uh, that the Tekensen was less than the Kijensen yesterday. So in order to do that, hit edit, study, again, search for Ichimoku. So in order to ensure that the scan references yesterday, hit one, offset one means one day ago, so yesterday. Tekan, Tenkan is already highlighted, so we can leave that is less than, select a condition, hit study again, search for Ichimoku again, again yesterday, so offset one, change this Tenkan to Kijun, and then save. And then the second part of the condition, which is the reverse, that Tenkan of today is greater than Kijun today, hit add condition, study, Again, search for Ichimoku, leave this at zero, leave this at Tenkan, is greater than study, search Ichimoku, Kijun, save. Great, now you have your two criteria um, necessary to give us all the stocks for which the Tenkan has just crossed over the Kijun. So hit OK. And then we're going to run this scan and see what it brings us. And of course, you can layer the study, you can layer other studies on top of this study, moving averages, Bollinger Bands, RSI, uh, whatever you choose. Uh, but for simplicity of this video, we're just going to focus on uh, the Ichimoku-related criteria. So hit scan. All right, pretty good scan. Let's see, let's pick one. Let's pick CPE. So you can go to charts, go to CPE. Great. And as you can see, the blue line, the Tenkan line, has just crossed over the Kijunsen. So this study has done exactly what we wanted it to do and identify um, the stocks that have, for, for which the blue line has just crossed over the red line. So now that we have this stock, we are going to buy it with our conditional sell order so it automatically sells whenever this blue line crosses back beneath the red line. So in order to do that, hit right click, uh, right click, or hit command click if you're using a Mac, I'm using a Mac, so command click. By custom, and then with OCO bracket, First of all, we want to change all of these to GTC, good till canceled. Or, excuse me. So we want to keep the buy condition as day and then change the selling conditions as good till canceled. So for these two selling conditions, 
uh, we could perhaps do a stop loss or trailing stop loss, whichever you prefer. And maybe let's do a 10% trailing stop loss. And then this is the fun part, creating the selling conditions. So in order to create the selling conditions, hit this uh, cog icon here. So price rules, market price, GTC, that's what we want. And then what we want to do is now create the conditions for the sale. So here under symbol, click CPE, method, you click study. And when as soon as you click symbol here, CPE will drop up by the drop down in here by default. So CPE, method, study, we want to input our study. Edit. Great. And so now, in order to edit our condition, click Edit here. Let me drag this down so it's in view. So, once again, change this to Study. Ichimoku. And we want it to sell when the Tenkan crosses below the Kijun. So this is already Tenkan, crosses below. Study again, Ichimoku. Keep everything the same except this. Change Tenkan to Kijun, great. So. It's scheduled to sell whenever the Tenkan crosses below the Kijun. Hit save. Hit OK. And there we go. So if I wanted to buy this stock, if I were to hit confirm and send, it would buy a CPE, how many short shares or dollars, I, however many shares or dollars I wanted to buy, and then sell at the criteria that, that I created. Either it hits a 10% uh, trailing stop loss or the Tenkan crosses below the Kijun, whichever of those two comes first. So if I were to hit confirm and send, that would go through. Thank you all so much for spending time with me today. If you found this video helpful at all, to the least extent, I'm extremely grateful and I'm very happy about that. See you soon. I'll be back next time exploring how to automate trades with another popular indicator. But until then, 